Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Slitter here. Sports Lab and ATL Sports and Fitness. Like, comment, subscribe, share it out. Donate to the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, Slitta Sports. Uh, I want to thank everybody for, like I said, uh, everybody supporting, you know, the ones who do support my fitness endeavors. I even like the comments that are kind of comical as well. But for the most part, when I do a fitness video, I get true people on there who are into fitness and who want to build themselves and also appreciate what I'm doing with my body and everything. So like I said, any fitness advice, comment below. Any tips, comment below. Any dumb shit that doesn't pertain to what I'm talking about, I will delete. Uh, Slitter doesn't have time for any of that. Anyway, this video right here, as an Atlanta Braves fan, okay, the Braves have had a bunch of rivalries throughout the life. I remember growing up, uh, it was the uh, Braves and the Marlins. When in the, in the National League West, when the Braves were still there, I can't say it was the Braves and the Dodgers. Maybe it was the Braves and the Padres, I guess. You know, kind of, you know, teams kind of at the same level. And then it started to become, you know, the Braves and the Mets, and then the Braves and the Phillies. Now it's the Braves and the Dodgers and Braves and Phillies. Okay. Which leads me to the destruction and seemingly impending downfall of the New York Mets. Now, this is not a trash-talking video. I have some Mets uh, YouTube people that I interact with at times. Do not take this as a trash-talking video. I'm not trash-talking the New York Mets. I'm just giving my opinion from a team that used to be a threat to the Atlanta Braves, used to be a threat to the Phillies. Now the New York Mets basically are a threat to the uh, Washington Nationals and the Miami Marlins battling for fourth, fifth, and last. Okay? I don't think the New York Mets have gotten over the chokes that they have done. They have choked away some of the most ridiculous, unheard of uh, division titles. I remember that one against the Phillies, I think it was 07. They led, what, with 17 games left, they were seven games up. I think they were the top seed. Number one team, they didn't even make the playoffs that year. I know they had another one. Uh, I also know, most notably, a couple years ago, the New York Mets had a 10 and a half game lead on the Braves in August. And I think in September, it was not quite sure what it was in the final month, but the New York Mets controlled their own destiny. New York Mets fans let me know it. They let me know in April, May, June, July, August. I remember a disastrous series a couple of years back in New York, a five-game series where we almost got no hit. We lost four or five to the Mets, I believe, in that series. At that time, the division lead for the Mets was up to ten and a half games. New York Mets fans were talking a lot, man. I mean, as you should be in up ten and a half games. But if, if the Mets fans haven't learned anything, uh, nothing is safe. All right? The Braves have overcome so many odds. Ask the Phillies. They've done the same thing to the Phillies, in the regular season at least. Um, but the New York Mets uh, felt it. That year, all they had to do a couple years back, they were one game up going into a three-game series in Atlanta. All they had to do was win one game. It would have been division champs. Braves would have uh, been the wild card. Braves swept the Mets. Mets looked listless. And I don't think the Mets have looked back. I don't think the Mets have overcome that choke job against the Braves a couple years ago. I think Pete Alonso is going to be traded by the deadline. Wouldn't shock me to see Jeff McNeil traded by the deadline. Francisco Lindor uh, traded by the deadline. They've already gotten rid of some guys. Mark Canna's gone. He went away last year. Who knows what's going to go on with Brent Beatty. Max Scherzer bolted. Justin Verlander bolted. You know, they got traded, yes, but let's be real. They they demanded it because they, they didn't want to stay on that sinking ship in New York. And the New York Mets have a lot of loyal fans. Not on YouTube, per se, because I don't see any New York Mets fans on YouTube. I don't see even Dominant Mets Nation stopped doing videos last month. And he was, I remember when the Mets won five straight. I remember when they took, uh, I remember when the Mets took two or three from the Braves in April. Mets fans were talking. Yeah, I remember that. I, I didn't forget. In April. The first week or two of the season, Mets fans were talking. Dominance Mets Nation was doing videos. Now he's, I don't even see him. Okay, so 
as good and loyal as the New York Mets fan base is, it's not on YouTube. The New York Mets currently, as of right now, are 15 games back in the National League East. Now, nothing's a guarantee. Obviously, 10 and a half games. The Braves uh, were down to the Mets in August, late August, a couple years back. But 15 games back, and, we had, and we're just about ready to complete uh, the second month of the season. 15 games back. The New York Mets are only, I believe, four games from last place. The wild card, they're six back behind a lot of teams. Do I think the New York Mets will make the playoffs? Absolutely not. Do I think the Mets will finish over 500? Absolutely not. Do I think the New York Mets are going to blow up some of these uh, some of these players before the deadline, if not at the deadline? Yes. I think it's. I think the New York Mets are in, are in total rebuild mode. It's just a matter of time. McNeil's not the same hitter. Alonzo's not the same hitter. Lindor's not the same hitter. They got a good piece in the, uh, Alvarez at catcher. Their pitching staff is in shambles. Their offense is terrible. And even though this is not a trash-talking video, I cannot sit here and say I'm not smiling at it. Because my channel is what it is, but I do not forget. I move on, but I do not forget the New York Mets fans on YouTube for years. I do not. So, you know, you, you, you know I've said this before, karma. You know? I mean, I haven't been rewarded for the last two years, okay? But I was rewarded three years ago. New York Mets haven't won a World Series since 86. I think they've only won the National League East, what, a couple times? The Braves have won 18 NL East championships. By far more than anybody in the National League East. The Phillies are the closest contenders now to the Braves. And right now, the Phillies are playing good ball. They lead the division. Sure, a little slump against the, you know, the last three games, but, you know, they... You know, they are playing good baseball, and right now they lead the East. Whether they finish there until something proves me wrong, I expect the Braves to come back even without the uh, Ronald Acuna for the year and Spencer Strider. And I'll talk about that at some point down the road soon. I'm probably going to talk about that tomorrow. I have a lot to say about the direction of the Braves heading into the free agency, I mean, to the uh, trade deadline and the loss of Strider and Acuna. I have my thoughts on that. Uh, just like, but just like I, I, I said, you know, as much as I say I, I feel confident with the Braves in a division until they prove me wrong, I stand by that until somebody, the Phillies, because it won't be the Mets, it won't be the Nationals, it won't be the Marlins. Until the Phillies can overtake us in the regular season, I'm always confident the Braves can overtake the division. This may be the year we don't, but we're still making the playoffs either way, and that's all that matters. Just like in, just like in the playoffs, until the Braves prove that they can beat the Phillies, I'm always going to give the Phillies the edge come playoff time in a head-to-head -head series because they've proven it twice. To me, they've proven it three times, but back-to-back -back years. But anyway, this is about the New York Mets uh, and what's impending for the Metropolitans. You know, it's I'm not sad to see it. I know Phillies fans aren't sad to see it again. If you want to come on here and your feelers, you're not paying attention to my video. I'm not trash-talking you. I'm just giving you a state of how I see things with the Mets compared to where they were. And if you're a Phillies fan, you want to come in here and laugh and comment, that's all on you. I'm not talking trash. I'm just giving an honest opinion on how I see the New York Mets as an NL East rival. At one point, they were the rivals to the Braves. It's clearly now the Phillies. You know, so I don't know what to say up there in Queens. Um, just disaster over there in New York. They, they, their ownership is terrible. Their on-field play is terrible. They are a sinking Titanic in New York. And like I said, I don't trash talk or laugh about it, but I am smiling about it. Ain't, there's no doubt about it. And uh, we'll see what happens uh, the next time we play. We'll see what happens for the Mets come the trade deadline. But I expect a lot of changes in New York. Absolutely. Like, comment, subscribe. Go Braves, cash app, dollar sign, slit of sports. Tell everybody about it. More fitness content coming up. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.